Has Stephen Haney been exposed? Was he ever really that good? Is he just a weight bully? There's a lot of comments going around questioning how good Haney really was after he has been dropped down heavy three times by Ryan Garcia and lost on a majority decision. Are these comments fair? Let's have a look. So, going into the fight with Ryan Garcia, Haney ha had a very good record. He'd beaten Linares, great fighter, Kombosius twice, great fighter, went to war with Lopez. He'd beaten Lomachenko in a, a dubious decision to say. I think at the time people were, it was close, maybe not a robbery because it was close, but I don't know, I've been going through the comments of like the highlights and everyone seems to be in agreement that Lomachenko won quite quite clearly. And then he beat Progre in probably what was his biggest statement in his career, you know, coming up to become a two-time world champion, taking care of someone and dropping them from a guy who'd only lost once before to Josh Taylor, another very good fighter. So he had a very good resume. Is he a weight bully? It's worth noting that the guys he'd fought were always smaller than him. And because Haney clearly had to drain himself so much to get down to the weight, after the weigh-in, he could hydrate higher than his opponents, which is always something to keep in mind. You know, he is going to weigh more than the opponents. This is something, you know, Conor McGregor got accused of. And I think it's always harsh, like, to, to call someone a weight, but you're like, maybe they're just clever. Why would you not give yourself all the advantages that you can, you know, get yourself down and then get yourself back up? Like, you have to make, you know, as long as you make the weight, that's the good thing. And Devin Henning's a professional, you know. He's always made the weight. He has fight hard fights. He wants to smoke. He's fought a lot of top names, you know. He's got at least five in there that I just that I just rolled off. But is he a weight bully? I think it's unfair. I think it's harsh to call him a weight bully. Yes, the guys who was fighting were smaller than him, but he always made weight. And arguably, it's clever, you know, to hydrate higher, give yourself an advantage. Why not? I think it's smart. Has he been exposed? In my opinion, he had a very bad night against Garcia. He went in there with the wrong game plan. He was rattled. No, he was so scared of losing, he didn't kind of use his brain. He was trying to exchange with Ryan Garcia, who has heavier hands, instead of just jabbing and moving like he did against Kambuchas. I think he was rattled. I think he had a bad night. I think the build-up had him shook. I think the fact Garcia was bigger than him had him shook. I think he had a bad night. Eddie Hearn said it himself. He didn't think Haney boxed very well. I think I'd agree. I think Haney had a bad night. I don't think one loss makes you a bad fighter. I hate it when, you know, fighters get written off after just one loss. He had a bad night. He didn't go in there with the right game plan. Garcia rattled him. He still deserves credit for his, you know, his wins over Cambucius. Let's not forget, he went to the guy's backyard. He went to Australia and beat him. The guy, Lopez, the guy he beat was training with, no, he was training with Pacquiao when he beat Lopez, you know, beat him twice. Pro Gray, obviously debatable if he lost to Lomachenko. But Linares, you know, clearly a good fighter, good IQ, good footwork. But Garcia has the power. I find it so interesting, the, you know, power. You can't train power. You see a lot of big guys, but they just can't keep it down. Like, you look at Tommy Fury. Obviously, he's an influencer boxer. Well, I guess it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit material, isn't it? Obviously, he's four influencers, but he has got a professional record. He's massive, you know, he's got really big muscles. But he doesn't have that, you know, knockout power. And... I guess Ryan Garcia is looking more muscular these days, but he's always had that, you know, kind of knockout power. You, know, you don't have to have big muscles to be able to, you know, have that power to knock people out. Like, I look at Tony Bellew. He's not bodybuilder big, is he? But he has got that power, you know. He can train it, you know. I think things like, you know, swimming help train it. But it's that kind of innate power that you can't... I think a lot of it is genetic. That he, that Haney just doesn't have. Like, you saw Garcia's face at the end of it. It was absolutely fine. And Haney, I don't think he had a broken jaw. I think he said on Twitter it wasn't broken. But he was... His face looked rough, didn't it? So, I think, again, that's where Haney lost. He lost because he let Garcia make it a fight instead of a boxing match. He didn't jab and move, although it would have been boring. He should have done it to win. So, look, I feel bad. Yeah, you know, I think it was a bad night for Haney. I don't think he's been exposed. He's not a weight bully. I think he just had a bad night, you know. And I hope he gets back stronger. And I think Garcia was wrong stylistically for him. I hope Haney comes back stronger. I hope Bill kind of quiets his mouth a bit. It's a bit like Tommy Fury and his dad, isn't it, John? Like... John does all the talking, it's like, just, you know, don't go in there saying you're going to kill Garcia when you're not a power puncher. Like, I don't think it's sending your son the right message. Like, just tell your son to box him. He's a great boxer. Yeah, there's just a little bit of questioning. How good was Devin Haney? Has he been exposed? Is he a weight bully? In my opinion, no. He's a great boxer who had a bad night. You know, I'm a Devin Haney fan. He's disciplined. He's a hard worker. He takes hard fights. So... I like Devin Haney and I want to see him come back stronger. Obviously, take some time to recover, rest. And he was humble in the feet, you know. He said, Alistair Perfect Planner. 
I think he said on Twitter, you know, if you give it out, you've got to be able to take it. You know, if you beat people up, you have to be able to, you know, take the losses yourself. Those who live by the sword die by the sword. Something I heard from, you know, Chris Eubank, he said, you know, you've got to take your punishment as a boxer. If you're giving it out one day, you know, you're going to come back and you're going to have to take it. I think that's why people are annoyed at Tyson Fury. Like, you know, if you get your living and enjoyment out of beating people up, one day it's going to come back to you. You can't just avoid it. Like, I think that's why people have a problem when champions avoid hard fights. Like, if you enjoy beating people up, one day you might have to take that punishment yourself. And as a king, as a champion, you have to be willing to accept it and say, look, this is what I do. This is my domain. I fight and I will take my punishment if it comes to me. Obviously, you might not lose, but I think you have to take hard fights. Going a little bit off topic there. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.